Sometimes things aren't quite what they seem, and in this case, that's a good thing. A man's body was discovered in the Susquehanna River just below a spill dam, an area that's seen drownings here before. Police and the coroner were on scene fully prepared to investigate a drowning. Sue Hubbard was under that same impression. She first spotted the man's body in shallow water. I saw him down there all by himself. And the second thought is, you know, oh my gosh. It wasn't long, though, and this happened. The man sat up. He was okay, just floating in the river on a hot summer's day. People who witnessed it couldn't believe it. We were standing here talking to you, and all of a sudden he sat up and apparently he wasn't dead. Can you believe that? No, this is unbelievable. I said it's a miracle. <laughs> I mean, it's great. One of the strangest things about this whole situation was that at first, a lot of the onlookers noticed that the gentleman in the river was wearing this life jacket. And so if he was a drowning victim, they wondered how he got there. Turns out he was just out for a mid-afternoon nap in the Susquehanna. I was out like a light. Oh, my gosh. And, but it was comfortable. You heard right. Joseph D'Angelo fell asleep in the river and was oblivious to what was going on around him until a dragonfly landed on his nose. It was like laying on a cloud. I look up the clouds and I was laying on a cloud. Oh my. And it was a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing for sure, for all those who thought D'Angelo was gone. He told us he was sorry for wasting everyone's time, but that he was just living the best way he knew how. Enjoy life as you have it. And that's what I was doing. And I'm yeah. sorry I hindered anybody no, no. for my enjoyment, but I'm going to enjoy it.